What happens when you combine an Arc Fibercraft server, which allows you to turn fiber into any item in the game, yes, that also includes tech and all the higher tier items, with possibly the highest rate Arc server I have ever seen? Well, you basically end up with an Arc 1 million X server, and my experience on it ended up a little something like this. Welcome to I Tried Arc 1 Million X, and I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Okay, so welcome everyone to um, Arc, but it's basically. Oh, but it's basically 1 million eggs. There is lava golems everywhere. Every dino is a different color. There's not many people on the server, but why would there be? Who wants to... I'm over encumbered from one... Wait, isn't it meant to be 10,000 eggs? It is. Why did I get 3k stone? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. Purple lava golem, though. I wonder if you can tame these. Hmm. I wonder... Wait, are these just the eggs golems or the lava golem? Oh, yeah, these are X ones. 7,200! Oh, my God. Okay, but, um, yeah. I'm gonna, welcome to Ark, but 1 million X again. And I honestly don't have a clue what we're going to do today. But I guess the first step is leveling and just grabbing a drop. And then we can go on from there, I guess. Oh, my God. How much HP can I have? I can literally soak a base with these stats. I'm not even joking. Oh, okay. One million. Oh, nice. One million. Oh, okay, another one million. Um, melee damage is even... Movement isn't that... Oh, okay. Right, well, we'll get to like... 500% movement speed, I guess. And then get 10k melee to make sure we can do all the one bonks. And then we'll put the rest into HP, I think. Right, how many points am I going to be left with? A. Get to... 400 and then rest in one in movement and then rest in melee. All right, sweet. All right. Well, let's see if I can one punch this thing. I cannot. I I actually killed myself. Okay. Yep, the first death of the video and it was from myself punching a dino. Things are going to go well. I can very much say that. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Well, we have raiding stuff now i guess i've also got uh, the the ghost costumes for a bunch of dinos which is kind of cool i haven't actually seen those on any servers in a long time so kind of nice to have but we have raiding stuff now so we just need to find a drop that actually gives us something the server's also fiber craft obviously so um i can just craft but i'd much rather get ascendant stuff straight up so, with me now knowing that drops basically give you every single item in the game, well, who would have thought the server is a 10,000x pasta fiber craft? I went around and grabbed some saddles out of the blue drops, and I'd also grab another load of saddles from another blue drop, meaning I had basically question, one of everything in the game. Down, I level like 9,000 trike with just a 700% crossbow. Surely the torpor levels are going to be crazy. But I'm not even going to be able to do it. But uh, we'll see. I wonder what a white drop gives us for a ring around it. Hello? Whew. Right. Well, we can now build a base as well. Now we just need a purple, yellow, or red drop to get weapons and gear. Okay, there we go. <coughs> We've got tech rep as well. That was some of a rainbow drop. we got some flak that has only 200 dura, really. That was 1.5. 1. Okay, well, I guess it's just completely random. We also got a manticore set, so we might as well just uh, put this whole thing on to look as drippy as possible. But, um, yeah, we got... Wait, is that an Ascendant ammo bot? I didn't even know. That's not a thing, surely. That is not... What does an Ascendo, Ascendant ammo box do? I, I really want to know. Quick little damage test. Oh, 48k! <laughs> Quick little damage test. <laughs> I'm one hit in 2000... Oh, my God. This is, this is so good. 
Yeah, I can say confidently that putting melee like points on this server was the best idea I could have, and I'm just going to leave it at that till you guys see later on in the video. But to continue on, I would grab some fiber as well. It's a fiber craft and you need it to make anything. This is the, uh, the first sign of life I've seen on the server. I found a Maywing, some guys Rex, a Pteranodon. They're built in here. No, where's their actual base? Is it just meant to be this? Can I just theoretically yeah, do that? No, <laughs> I just got fiber in there. But it doesn't look like this guy has much, but might as well. Oh, I don't even kill it in one hit. I didn't take long though. 25 armored saddle and it was sinking that much? Oh, damn. Okay, well, I can't really see the guy around this. So there's no point in me even being here. Uh, let's uh, move on. I'm just going to do this real quickly. Wait there. Change this. Wait, that actually does less than the sword. Oh, never mind. Whilst traveling around the map, I would just stumble across loads of different replicators around that mostly contain no loot. So I'm not going to bother adding them into the footage anymore. I just thought I would mention it so you guys know. Anyone here? Need to break through and have a look. Wow. Oh, no, there is stuff in here. Okay. We might have found a raid. I might open this and get sprayed down by Taurus, but we will see. Ah! Monkey broke all my gear? Bad monkey. Okay. Wow. Wait, what? Ah! What? Why have I ended up back up here? Okay, I I don't know. Oh, well, I guess thank you for the castroids. <laughs> what? I'll take it. Do I have a free cryopod? Oh, hell yeah, I do. How much melee have you got, bud? Wait, why can't I level you up as an adolescent? That's so weird. One thing I will mention though is cave drops on this server don't seem to be boosted by much, if at all, because to be honest, I went through and checked all of the quality levels of them and I couldn't seem to find anything that was really worth it. So I basically glossed over those and just continued on my search for a good base spot and finding some what? raids to do. Anyone else see that tribe name? Tribe Blur? Hey, or someone will be stealing my name. My name's Scob. What's been going on around here? I wonder if I can find Blur and raid him. That'd make for an interesting video. Oh. Hello. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, that's a nice thing to wa walk into. I came over to uh, Lava to see if anyone's built in the Pearl Cave. Generally curious to see if they are, but I don't know, to be honest, because Pop is kind of low. But we'll see. We'll see. Oh, the gate's open. I'm about to be so wrong. Wow. Oh. No one built in Pole Cave, really? Damn. That's actually kind of a shocker. Let me have a look around just to check. To be honest, we could just claim this. Building Pole Cave solo, though, would not be fun. I cannot lie. But let's just have a little walk around and see what we can find. Hold on. Yeah, there's nothing. Definitely nothing in here still. Let me see if I can grab this real quick. Anything special? Oh, a saber tooth saddle. Okay, no. All right, let's go check the other side, even though I doubt it's built in. But we could live here. We really could. But I don't know if it's worth it or not, to be honest. It'll take me so much time to build this. Whereas I could just go claim one of the other bear caves and uh, chill in one of those. No, let's tame a, a level 2,000 dung beetle. Why not? Okay. <clears throat> right, we can leave this cave. I don't think I'm going to build in Pearl Cave. I really CBA to do this. I cannot lie. Take way too long. Let's go find somewhere more practical for my uh, solo antics and with enough space to raise the big boys. Oh... Good news. Oh, a 
Okay, we could build in this bear cave. Event guys don't raid. Makes sense. Okay, well, I need to get myself some C4, I think. I should be able to just make some with the, the repi. But I guess it's now base building time for here. Because I've got mats, I've got everything, and I see be able to look anymore. So, yes. Now, in terms of stuff happening, you're probably sitting there thinking, but you've just been wandering around aimlessly looking for something to do. And to tell you the truth, I basically was. There wasn't much activity on this server, and to top it off, every base spot that I went to had either been raided or had been spammed out completely to the point where I couldn't exactly do much. So, I went on a club spree and just knocked out a bunch of stuff since clubbing stuff was the only way to tame things on this server, apparently. And, uh, yeah, I really don't know what to do crazy and it's level 5000 and i can't I, I can't even see his stats but it couldn't have been that good oh anyway in the downtime whilst i was still searching for a baseball and a raid i would still be taming trikes and other things so i would have soakers for later on see that feels seems a bit light to be honest but we got kibble should insta tame i believe it should insta tame i believe it should insta time, I believe. Okay, one second. Okay, well, it tamed. I don't know how long that took, but it actually tamed, and it came out of 134k HP. So, uh, we have something to soak with now, but I'm unsure if it's going to be good. Wait there. Let me just put one point into weight. Wait, how much does movement speed? Yeah, okay, quite a bit. <laughs> Look at the HP, bro. Already in the millions. Okay, right. I'm going to have to spam this through, get it to max health. Actually, wait. Let me leave this in here. In the meantime, so it can start healing itself. Okay. Well, what is that? Like 10,881,735 HP. Nice. We can go soak a whole base now with this one trike. And look how fast it is. Wait. <laughs> You're going to rush anything with this map. Oh. Hello, gorgeous. Nice to meet you. Would you be so kind to uh, go inside my net? Oh, no, no, you, should, you stop. Hell yeah. I just knocked this guy out. I actually killed the Stego before I tamed it again. Okay, right, well, we're not using Stegos anymore. We're literally just going to use Trikes. Although, I don't know how long this thing's going to take to heal. And why is it not eating veggie cakes? Wait, what? Do I need to get a dead on to heal this thing, or what? No, it is healing. Just so slowly. Oh my god, I'm going to be here forever. Okay. We also just figured out how to get good weapons. Just go to a beacon. I mean, I'm not going to take this all, but what do I need here? The railgun, probably. The ammo. Pump shotgun blueprint. The tech claws. Crossbow. Fabby. Oh, definitely a tech pistol. Nice. So as I started building up more and more tames, I came to realize that I would just have more problems on my hands later on, as I didn't exactly have a reliable way to heal these things. Later on, I do get a Deodon, but even then, that isn't just as effective. I was probably thinking that one of those healing plants might be the plan, but for now, all I could do is build myself a base up on this cliff, as it was one of the only base spots that wasn't taken or, like, built up in with destroyed foundations already. And with the base finally being done, and this dead server not really having much to offer, I would head over to one of the Fjordur maps, no, not the PV1, like I accidentally just tried to transfer to, the PVP1, and in search for a bigger raid. And then, that's when I would come across my first target, which ended up being a base with like two, three thousand turrets. 
Well, I've I've found I've found my first base to raid. I I don't think I'm gonna be able to raid. It. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. I can't. Okay, I'm falling. I have no element because I had to obviously transfer over. But that that cage. Oh my god. I don't even know how you would start by soaking that thing. I need to I need to get some Ellie and then have a look. I'm wondering if this is a little fob on the outside. For, the, for this video, and since it's kind of a special one, I do really want to try and raid this base. Whether I'm going to do it in this video or not will be... Oh! Well, um... I'll take all of those. But whether I actually manage to do it or not it will be decided, I guess. But maybe there's a way to raid on these servers with tech swords, because why would this guy have so many? Was he like Desmodus diving into the base nonstop? Because, oh my god, that turret wall is mad. Like, how, how do you even soak that? Ah! My PC. I've lagged the server. I've lagged the server by rendering the base. Is it. Have I crashed the server? Have I? Um. Um. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I honestly don't think I'm raiding this base. Honestly. I generally think this is going to take me days to raid. Oh my god, there's got to be at least 2k turrets on this base. At the minimum. I can't even tech jump anymore. Okay. Well, base so big it actually crashed my game. Well, crashed the server, sorry. Nice. Is it... Can I still... What is going on, bro? Hello? So, I can't lie, after this clip you're watching right now, where I killed the Desmodus, I basically took a break and just went off the server for a couple of days as IRL things came around. And when I came back to the server, as you can see, someone had cleared out both of the turret towers on the outside of the base. Meaning, this base might actually be raidable now, especially since they've left gaps in the roof where I could possibly grapple glitch through, or Tyranodon C-spin. But my initial plan was to actually heal up all the Diplodocuses that Emma tamed for us, but one issue on this server that we just simply couldn't figure out was how to heal them fast enough. Now, Snow Owls we tried, we also tried Deodons and Veggie Cakes on the trikes and stuff, but there was no possible way to heal these things fast enough. Um, maybe uh, like one of those light plants may have healed them quick enough, I'm not too sure. But when all the dinos have 7 million HP, I guess it's just not going to work regardless. But anyways, here's my first attempt on running the base, and um, I'm just going to leave it to play. Well, either the server's crashed or I'm desynced. Because, like, what? I can't break anything? Oh, apparently I hit something. Oh, I'm being shot again. Um. Am I hitting anything? Uh, nah, I don't know, bro. Well, at least I can explore their base real quick. You guys got... Where's your tech gen? Can't damage anything. Guessing tech gens in here. Yeah, it's over here. Wait. What? Okay, so I'm quite unsure what to do here. Whenever I try and wait. So basically, as you've seen from the last few clips I've done, just doing some test runs. Oh, I'm dying again. Maybe that's for the best. I've done some test runs. I figured out that 
tames are just basically dead. Like, unless you're on a Diplo or something, I doubt you could really do much. I'm trying to die because I'm, like, massively decing to the moment. But as you can probably tell, running in in no gear is basically the best, best method because I have this much HP. And it's that easy. But I keep getting desync so bad that my character's out over there. When in reality, I'm still in the... Vert well, my character's in here, but I'm out there. It makes no sense. But nothing's shooting me here. It's like so broken. But I honestly, I just need to get inside the base. I want to try and grapple glitch, but that's not working because of the amount of tech turrets. And uh, I think it might just be the case of constantly running at the wall and just hitting. But... uh. Yeah, soaking a base with nothing but myself is... Well, well, it wasn't on my checklist for this year, that's for sure. I didn't even know this was possible, but hey-ho. Look at me, turrets are here, bruh. Look at this. Look at this, man. Yeah, so look, in reality, I'm out here, bruh. Oh, this is just crazy. All right, I'm going to go respawn on my bed to get all my HP back, and then we're just going to do the run again. I don't even think I'm going to bring gear this time. I don't actually think there's a single point. Oh, well... Apparently, uh, I've crashed the server now as well. Sweet! Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna try the royal grapple glitch again. Can I go at all? When? I, where am I this time? I, I don't know where I am. Look, look at this, bro! What is going on? I like, like, I'm hitting stuff over there. Look, look at the green markers. I'm literally invisible raiding this base. Uh, can I hit something? Hello? Hello? Where am I? Hey. <laughs> this is so dumb, bro. Am I in the base? Am I desynced into the base now? Oh, am I here? What? Where am I? I just, I don't understand. Like, what, what is going on? It's just, this made no sense. And now my sound's bugged. I'm not even hearing proper arc sound anymore. I'm over here. I think I broke. Okay. You know what? We'll just, we'll just die. Yep. Yeah, okay. Now, if you're wondering as to why these issues were actually happening, this server's actually being filmed on a Windows 10 server, as you probably noticed. And uh, Windows 10 servers slash Xbox servers are very limited to the amount of things that can happen on them at once due to uh, like spec limitations and such. So when you think of all of these like 1,000 turrets shooting at once, it just causes a bunch of lag, desyncs my character from where my client is, and uh, yeah, you just get a situation like this where I'm swinging at these tech-like doors right now, but in reality, I'm down the ramp hitting the foundations. But, um, yeah, this basically happened for a couple hours whilst I tried to figure out the raid. I'd also disconnect myself and try and reconnect to the server as quickly as possible just to see if anything would happen. But, um, as it turns out, as soon as I reconnect, I go back to where I actually was and, uh, yeah. Just take a look for yourself. Yeah, being desynced and having dinos that could actually shred my HP from whatever in the millions it was down to nothing was pretty annoying. It was mainly the uh, the Stego's bleed attack that kept killing me. But we had encountered another issue on top of the desync, which was just the Thames. And now we had to figure out something. Now, another guy had logged out outside the base, so I tried using his body to actually soak some of the turrets. But as you can see to the right of the screen again, I desynced instantly as soon as the turrets started shooting. There seems to be a common theme on these servers. I would try and run and just break turrets quickly to, like, avoid the desync. But it's basically ping pong, man. Like, I just get sent flying, and then my character gets sent out of the base, and then I'm stuck.
But anyways, enough chatting. I'm going to let these last two attempts play out before I start majorly just rinsing my voice again in the video. So, uh, yeah, let's see how they go. Okay. I've made it behind this thing. And this is literally as far as I can get. Now, tech gen, I believe, is over to the left still. But I think the plan might be try and get into the top of the base and see what's up there. But as soon as I leave, it's like done. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. Maybe grapple there. I don't let it cut. Okay, I think we've... Oh, God, wait. Wait, isn't the Jenny behind here? It is, wait. Oh, no. No, stop. Wait, what's in here? Oh! Well, those are a lot nice. Oh, I'm over. Over slot capped. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm just soaking the whole base. Um, grapple up. Nice. Okay, grapples are going to be the way to raid the entire base thing. Let me up, let me up, let me up. Nice. Oh god, I broke it. Okay. I made it into the base. Um... Anything special in here apart from trope saddles and tech suits? Oh, eggs. Okay. Oh, <laughs> 5,000. Tech stegos. Um, there's modus. Oh, thylers as well. Okay, well, I need to drop all of those. Um, I got loads of tech bounce pads as well, the jump pad things. I got ascendant swords. I ah, literally, what do I do here with all this loot? I guess just drop the jump pads for now. Uh, drop the costumes. We'll put on some of the tech suits because why not? Just extra gear to wear. Oh, did we crash the server? Not as I've just got in. There's no way. Okay. Oh, I've just realized there's one guy here called Griefer. He's literally sitting here with a full coot on. And uh, this must... Be, well, obviously it's his base. There's nothing I can do. But... I don't know how. I'm pretty sure it might be a mine through position for that that Jenny. I don't really see any other ones though that I can point out. Hmm. Oh no. No, we're just. Oh no. I I did the mistake. Oh, don't tell me I'm back in with all the dinos. Really? Oh my god, this is. What's going on? You know, I'll, t I'll take an exit. Let me out. Where am I? What the? Where am I? What is going on? Let me out! Oh my god, bro. Okay. I think I'm out the base. Where's my grapple? My grapple's putting me here. Okay. We made it out the base of the eggs. That worked very well, but now we need to go back into the base, so... <sighs> At least we made out of all this stuff, man. Well, I didn't even get most of the important stuff, but that works for me. Alright, one more rocket into the base, and we should be good. Oh, God. Just don't mess it up, Jack. Yeah, nice. Made it back in. Uh, did I forget anything in this vault? Heavies, tech swords, more tech suits. No, I don't think I forgot anything important. Maybe the beers and the harpoon gun. Yeah, we'll just take those. And uh, stego saddle. But, oh, you know what? I'll take the ammo as well. Why not? I don't even know if elements transferable on this server. But we'll see. 
Yeah, it turns out just using a grappling hook and uh, constantly reeling yourself in basically counters the tech turrets pushing me and desyncing me out. The grapple just keeps me grounded apparently and stops everything. Since obviously I have millions of HP, I would never die. So I tried to start looting these vaults again and um, yeah, everything's just a bit of a struggle to be honest. I'm not going to lie. I'm still being ping ponged around and can't exactly do much. All right, well, I'm convinced these guys have put that turret in the mesh. Anything in here? I can grab. Oh, something. Sword. I'm literally just going to soak this base at this rate. <laughs> just naked. Soaking the entire thing. It's not even like doing much damage to me. Oh, God. I cut my grapple. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let me in. I'm sorry. I'm just going to throw this thing out. Come on, Phoenix. Let's kill everything. Kill everything. You do no damage. You do no damage. You are such a useful tame. Do special ability. Kill something. Oh, you're so bad. Oh, you know, that's just whistle, whistle, just yeah, whistle neutral. Go on, Phoenix. You do you, bro. Now, as time went on with this raid, the stuff that I could do just got more limited and more limited. Now, yes, there were a bunch more vaults that were sitting in the corner, but obviously, since it's a Fibercraft server, the only real interesting loot I can get is probably eggs, as stats and dinos are really the only important thing on this server. And, well, as you can probably tell, since there were so many turrets, the bats, and just other things, I was getting quite frustrated, I can't lie. Raiding on this, well, 10,000x server, but for the video title purposes, a million x server, has been one of the most painful things I've ever done, mainly because of the lag, just constantly sending you outside of the base and then having to start over fresh completely. I also tried to get to the generator, but since this server has no rules, I'm pretty sure they actually put the Jenny inside the mesh. So, um, yeah, that also happened. I just, I honestly, I don't know what to do anymore, but, um... Yeah, the raid was pretty fun. No, it wasn't. Once I managed to break a couple of the vaults, though, I actually managed to get this little corner spot where the turrets couldn't exactly hit me. Maybe one or two of the heavies could, but since they only did 300 damage and I had uh, millions of health, it didn't really matter. Now, I could exactly, like, break through all of these vaults and take the loot, but to be honest, since I would be slot capped, I just kind of couldn't be bothered and I just kind of wanted to get out of the base at this point. I'd already stolen some of their best eggs out of the raid earlier on, such as the Giga. Uh, I believe I got some Carcharodontosauruses and Stegos. So we had already got good enough loot by my books and I kind of just wanted to get out as, well, guys, just look at the video. Like, come on. Could, like, like, what do you expect me to do here? I could raid it and finish it. But would you want to raid this and finish this? Probably not, no. Anyways, as I go to exit this base, I think this is the perfect time to end off this video, as I simply can't be asked to edit this anymore because this video gave me more hair loss, more stress, and just, I want to die, man. This, this was not enjoyable at all. And yeah, also, this happened. I forgot that this happened. I was trying to escape the base, and then the entire base de-rendered, and I must have gone to a different plane of existence because there's nothing here. I had to reconnect, and when I did log back in, my character was dead. I tried to go back in to get my body, but by the end of this whole thing, I was just completely done. So, um, thank you everyone for watching this video. I guess Arc 1 Million X was not enjoyable at all. I wouldn't recommend it. I'll try and leave the, uh, the server name in the description for you guys if you want to try it out yourself. But I recommend trying to go onto Steam, as you probably won't experience the issues I had. But anyways, take care everyone, leave a like, and I will see you in the next episode, I guess. Peace.